Hey guys, John Richards here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to be consistent in life. Um, you know, consistency, in my opinion, is the number one secret to success. You know, that's probably after health. I mean, health is probably the foundation, the number one secret, because if you're not healthy, you can't be consistent at anything. You know, so how to be consistent in life. You know, first thing I would say is, what do you want to be consistent about? Okay, what do you want consistency in? Is it work? Is it is it uh, working out? Is it eating right? What is it? You know, you probably should decide on one thing at a time, and then you're going to create a habit out of that. So, you know, so let's say it's working out. Okay, so you're going to, first of all, you're going to do is you're going to schedule it into your calendar. You don't want it to just be something that moves around all day. Hey, I, today I'm going to you know work out in the morning. Tomorrow I'll work out in the afternoon. Then I'll work out after work. You, you'll never be consistent that way. So you got to decide, okay, whatever habit it is. So again, let's use working out. You're going you're gonna to decide what time that'll be. And I'll tell you how you can change that over time. You know, but first of all, decide when that's going to be. So you block that into your calendar. You know, because I used to work out, I used to leave the house at 6 o'clock and work out from 6.30 to 8. And, you know, I changed that up a bit here recently because once you become, once you, you know, create a habit of something, then you can recreate the habit at a different time because I decided I needed to do something different. So, okay, so I've got it into my calendar and then you set a goal to do it for 66 days. Yeah, I said 66 days. Now, I know sometimes we work out five days a week, you know, so you have to change it up a little bit, but you want to go, you know, maybe 12 weeks. You know, get 66 days where you got 66 days of working out without not missing a day, you know. So, you know, you, you know, if you work out on a Wednesday every week, work out on Wednesday, you know, whatever it is. And I'm not saying, you know, whatever you, know, whatever you decide you want to be consistent in, start off slow. Okay, I remember Tim Ferriss talked about when he became a writer and started writing books. You know, you know, he didn't say he was going to write 1,000 words a day. He said, "I want to write two crappy pages a day." So whatever you decide you're going to be consistent in, make sure that you can do that on your worst day. Okay, you know. So again, let's go back to the workout thing. You know, maybe it's three days a week starting out. If you're not work if somebody works out and you want to get consistent with working out, well, then that's what you want to do. You maybe three days a week. I work out six days a week, but I had to work up to that. Okay, and so you're gonna. And the big thing here, and you know, and you know, what you want to do is you want to decide on one habit at a time that you're going to be consistent with. Don't try to do four or five things. You will fail. You know, so the first thing you do is decide what one habit is. Okay, just like recently, I decided a lot of the mentors I follow and high achievers that I follow, and again, success leaves clues, you know, they do a work block in the morning. And I've noticed, I used to, I mean, I get up at four o'clock in the morning, seven days a week. I go to bed at nine o'clock at night, seven days a week. You know, I've done that consistently. But I used to go to the gym, you know, again, like I'd leave at 6, I'd get there by 6.15. I'd usually work, you know, from uh, to about 8 o'clock. I'd come home. So my first work block wasn't until, you know, 9.30 or 10, you know, whatever it was. And I just felt like I wasn't producing a result. And, um, you know, following Darren Hardy, I did uh, insane productivity. I noticed his first worst work block was at six o'clock in the morning. And again, success leaves clues. That's what you guys, you want to model the people that are already doing it, okay? Then I follow a guy named uh, Brian Johnson and, uh, and you know, he did a video on Masterpiece Days and he's like me, gets up extremely early and he does a work block first thing in the morning, you know? So I decided, well, I'm going to try this. And it was hard in the beginning, you know? I've, I've tried it a couple times haven't been able to be successful with it, but now I'm in the like three or four weeks and, I, and I'm doing really well with it. Because here's the thing with the 66 days. So if you decide, let's say you're going to work out three days a week and you're focused on creating that as a habit, if you fail, 
If you don't succeed, maybe you get halfway through it at 35 days or whatever it is, and you, you're, you don't do it one day because you want to sleep in, you need to start over. You need to get yourself into a success mindset to where you accomplish what you say you're going to do. You want to become a finisher, okay? So what I did, like I said, I restructured my schedule. And what I do something uh, that I call stru uh, scripting my day. You know, I my day is scripted from the time I get up. It's just like a picture, you know, a, a movie. You know, I, I script it from the time I get up all the way up till the time I go to bed. I know what time I quit during the day. I know what I do. I have it all planned out. You know, so what I did, I still get up at 4 o'clock. I still do my 90-minute morning routine, you know, but then I take a 30-minute break from 5.30 to 6, usually watching motivation on, on YouTube or a TED Talk. I don't watch just junk and stuff. I don't go watch TV or anything like that. You know, I just take a short break, a 30-minute break. And then I already have a plan. You know, I always plan my day. Like tomorrow, I'll plan it at the end of today. You know, so it's already planned. I already know what I'm going to do. So I do a 90-minute work block from 6 to 7.30. And, and in later videos, I'll tell you why it's 90 minutes. I learned that from Darren Hardy. and Amazing. You know, you know why, why, why to work 90 minutes and then, and then move on to the next thing. But anyway, so I block out time, 90 minutes, and I block out what I'm going to do in that 90 minutes. Today, I'm recording three videos, and then once I've done that, and then I've got other things that I'm going to do. But it's all planned out. Okay, now as soon as I'm done at, for, with the nine, 90 minutes, 6 to 7.30, from 7.30 to 8, I plan my workout. I still go work out. But now I go a little later. And it's actually starting to work out pretty cool. You know, it's becoming a habit. Okay. So 7.30 to 8, I do my pre-workout. I, I and, and I create my workouts from YouTube. I go pro bodybuilder. And I'll do a video on exactly how I do that. But that's how I, you know, I, I always work my, I do the same body parts the same days every week. But I want to change my workouts up. And I don't want to just guess what I want to do and stuff. So I follow those that. That, again, I model the high achievers, bodybuilders, pro bodybuilders. And I look them up on YouTube and I find out what they do. So I work that out and then I leave here, you know, about 8 o'clock now. And I go to the gym. I do a, uh, you know, I do about a 90-minute workout. I do weights and then I do 30 minutes of cardio. And then I come back and I take an hour break. Okay, I let myself have some freedom. And that's when I, I watch TV or whatever. You know, I take a good break with my wife, and then I go into my second block, which is about 11 o'clock. But, but when I go into my second block, which is 11 to 12.30, I've already finished, you see what I'm saying? I've already finished that first block. You know, that's how you become consistent in anything. Decide, okay, so the, so the keys here are, you know, what do you want to be consistent with? Decide on one habit, okay? And then block that into your calendar. Okay, now, do that for 66 days. Set yourself a strong goal. Push yourself. Get out of your comfort zone. Work toward that. And if you fail, start over. I don't know if you've ever heard the story about uh, Jerry Seinfeld. You know, they asked him, you know, one of the other comics at a comic club he was asked, is, Jerry, how did you get so good at being a comic? He said, I write jokes every single day. And he said, and I don't ever miss. You know, sometimes I write bad jokes. Sometimes I write good jokes. You know, but I do it every day. And, and, I, and I build a chain. And I make sure I never break the chain. That's how you become consistent. Okay? You know, that's how you get yourself to do things that it takes. The same as the 66 days. It's not something, you're not going to be consistent if, if you do something just every now and then. You know, that's now an inconsistency. That's that's not going to get you any success. And do one thing at a time and make that, whatever you're trying to accomplish and be consistent with, make it something that you can do on your worst day. Don't overwhelm yourself. You know, so if you've never worked out, don't say you're going to work out seven days a week for three hours a day. You won't do it. Don't say, if you're a writer, don't say you're going to write 2,000 words every morning. You won't do it. You know, Make it small. You know, there's a, there's a book called uh, Small Habits or Tiny Habits or something like that. 
you have to look it up. But this guy starts out by one push-up a day. Okay? That's how he starts out. That's how you create a habit. Okay, now once you've created that first habit, you know, and you've went your 66 days, now you can decide to expand on that habit or you can add a new habit, which is called habit stacking. You know, but think about how your life could change if, you know, every 66 days or so, because it may take you a little longer, and you create a new habit and you stack habit on, st on habit. And they're all success habits. You can change bad habits. You know, create routines for everything you do. You know, your life will change massively. You'll you'll start that workout. You know, every every day that you want to do it. You'll you'll write your blog post when you say you're going to do it. In my case, you know, one of my routines, one of my habits that I'm creating is doing a video one one video three days a week. You know, I, I make sure I do that every single week. This Friday, by the way, guys. I'm going to do a Facebook Live every Friday. Something I want to be consistent with. Now, I'm, I don't say I'm going to do something unless I'm going to do it. Another thing that I'm going to start tomorrow morning is something called Morning Pages. It's where I write three pages longhand every single day. Now, I'm going to do this seven days a week. Again, I learned this from Tim Ferriss out of the Tools of the Titans. And the results that people get from this is amazing. You know, so I, I when I read something in a book, I implement it, but then I gotta I gotta create a habit and be consistent. That's how you become consistent. I don't find seven, eight, nine things and start doing them all at once. I decide on one, you know, like I'm I'm creating three videos a week for the next 12 weeks. I just started a couple weeks ago. I do I do things in 12 week runs or 90 day runs, and then I just really just focus. So that's how you become consistent in life, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and liked it. Hey, make sure you comment. Tell me other things that you'd like me to talk about on video. Or tell me what you thought about this video. If you thought it was terrible, make sure you tell me it's terrible. I want to improve. I want to do better for you guys. You know, so if you liked it, make sure you do that. Hey, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Very important. I want to really build the subscribers up. And then you guys that are subscribers already, that are watching this video, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, I'm so grateful for you guys being here. And hey, if you want to want the secret to building life-changing job-quitting income in the next 30 to 90 days, make sure you click the link above in the in the uh, video, and I'll send you over a free download to share that secret with you. Or you can also uh, click the link below in the description, and that'll take you to a page. You'll need to put your name and email address in, and then I'll make sure I get that emailed over to you. Hey guys, go out and make it an awesome day today. Thank you and have a great one.